Today I want to take a look at how to grant site collection admin rights when an item is added to a SharePoint list. This is a follow-on for some of the other permission actions we've taken with MSflow. I wanted to research a little more detail about how far can we take it with other action steps. So here we have a Stack Overflow blog post where they're talking about granting SCA through two calls. The first call is one to ensure user to create the user object. And the second is one to get user by ID to set admin equal to true. So it's actually two posts. One, ensure the user object exists. And second, update the user to make them a site collection admin. So looking at how we would do that in MS Flow, we can go ahead and put the starting action as when an item is created. We have a test list with no columns really, other than just the title field and the created by. We'll test that out by putting down hello world and adding a new item. We can see that was created successfully. So if we're gonna make a flow, what we we'll wanna do is send an HTTP post over to the ensure user endpoint. And in that, we'll provide a payload. So here, what we'll want to do is go ahead and pick up the payload of logon name. Make sure we have correctly formatted JSON. Bring in maybe some double quotes. And in the center of that, we can go ahead and add one of our fields. It'll be the created by email. It's a unique primary key, nothing that should be duplicated. And we'll put that in as the login name. Go ahead and hit save. Next, we can put a new step for HTTP post, which will send an HTTP request to SharePoint. Change the default verb from get to post. Go ahead and set the site. And with both of those set, we're now going to be looking at underscore API get user by ID. And we'll be going to provide the ID number from the ensure user. And we'll need another action step in the middle here to parse the JSON of the reply. Now to test execution of this with all the security headers, we're going to navigate to a SharePoint online page, press F12 and run an HTTP post using Chrome F12 tools. So instead of Fiddler, instead of Postman, we can use Chrome F12 natively and the fetch method. The fetch method provides uh, support for HTTP post. We give it a URL, tell it the method is post, provide a body, give it a couple of headers, and be sure to include the request digest as one of those headers. Here we can see the response object coming back with all of its formatting and we do have an ID number of 11. The other cool thing about this is we can watch the traffic over the network, and actually drill into and look at the raw response. Take that over to MS Flow, generate a JSON schema from a sample and provide support for interpreting what that JSON format looks like. Because between our two flow steps, the second one, we want it to come in and actually parse out some of the data and here we have ID. If we hover that, we can see it's D.ID. And coming over to our test object, we can drill into the response and see that D dot capital I lowercase D, capital I lowercase D, that matches up with what we want to feed from step one to step two. So not only can we use flow to execute the HTTP post, we can use Chrome F12 to test it, to run it, to see the network traffic, and even to copy this raw response text over into a parse JSON step as a way of cleaning the output of step A before it goes into step B. So on the second step, we're gonna provide a payload as to what we are asking the get user by ID to handle. We'll give it the outside curly braces. We'll do is site admin true, metadata, SP user. There's the ID. Go ahead and save. And that's it. That's all that we need to support granting site collection admin to a given user. So we come into the flow. We have a context with an email. We go ahead and invoke the ensure user function that provides a user exist. Here we're going to parse the JSON of that first step. 
and we really want to hone in on one particular value, which is the ID number coming from that JSON. And we're going to get the user by ID. We're going to provide that is site admin equals true, and that will grant them site collection admin rights. So one other thing I'd like to do on the MS flow is go ahead and rename the action step and add a little bit more detail to it. So you can rename these headers and do something like grant SCA and the other one ensure user parse JSON. You know, you might want to take this one and actually rename it as well and say it's parse JSON, but for what particular function? For the ensure user function. So now your flow is a lot easier to read, that these two are tightly connected because they both say ensure user. And this is our final step with grant SCA. That concludes the video. Thanks for watching.